How you guys doing? My name is Marty Zoffinger, and in a recent video, I took my Catch 120 here from Pelican, and I put a five-horse motor on the back of it, and uh, yeah, that was a lot of fun. <laughs> and then, just before that, I had done the same thing to my pedal boat. These projects were a lot of fun and made possible by the fact that I had a lot of this material laying around and I got quite a few questions about what this material was. The material you see on these boats is called starboard and it's a proprietary name just like Q-tip is to cotton swab or uh, Sawzall is to the reciprocating saw. King Plastics a long time ago made starboard and now has about 90% of the marine industry when it comes to this wonderful composite material. And you can see how many different things, like the iPad holder I constructed. There's like a little piece there and then another piece here, and you can screw it together and manipulate it and router the edges just like you would wood, just like you would wood. <laughs> um, so it's a, a very versatile material. You can make all sorts of things out of starboard. Let me show you some of the things that I've made here at my shop. Here you see a shelf that I made out of some starboard. There's quite a lot of weight on there. It uh, deflects just a little bit, but I mean, there's nothing holding up the front of this. And again, I just kind of put a couple screws in, going straight across, and this is only 3 eighths of an inch thick, and yet the screws did not blow out these pieces of material like often happens with wood. You know, if you have wood that's thin and you screw into it, a lot of times it splits and checks. Not this stuff. Here you can see some of the starboard that the guys at Roundabout have laying around and laying around the Roundabout, get it? See, I did it again. Um, it comes in white and black and Roundabout uses this material for hatches on their boats. Come outside and I'll show you. Okay, there's the Roundabout in all its glory. Um, the reason I know about Starboard is because I'm friends with the owner of Roundabout and he was the first guy to show me this stuff. He uses it here for the hatch covers. This stuff is incredibly strong. I mean, you can stand right on that hatch and it's hot too. It's really, really hot, but still it's not deflecting very much and it's resistant to the terrible sun. Uh, these have been sitting outside in the Florida sun for a bunch of years now, probably three or four years, and they look just fine. They haven't really grayed that much. Um, so there's a testimony to how this stuff stays in the sun. It's UV resistant, oil resistant, and all that stuff. If you use it as a cutting board, it's even FDA approved. You may have seen it in some of my videos also. Of course, I'm talking about my filet station, where I not only chop up vegetables, but occasionally, when I'm lucky, I get to filet fish also. It's held up pretty good. It has some scratches and dings, but that's because I get to use this thing quite a lot. Here's something else I made out of starboard that you could find here at my place. This is the live well. It's made out of an old 55 gallon drum and we put an aerator on it and the pump takes water from the river, circulates it through here and then it dumps overboard. But the lid on it, you can see I cut the top of the barrel off and then I just screwed a big piece of starboard to it. There's a piece of wood back there that I attach the hinges to. The hinges hold onto the starboard and this thing, it just kind of finds its home when it closes. It's so cool. Gotta love starboard. This is a really cool thing that I made out of some starboard I had laying around. This is a tray for my spices. Again, you can see the, how I just kind of cut that out, rattered it, screwed it together, put a bunch of holes in the bottom. And this allows me to take all the spices I have and bring them inside in case it's going to rain. Over here, I want to show you some of the other things that I've made out of starboard.
Pretty neat, huh? Here you got another hook that is used to keep this pole here. When Todd takes his boat out, which is missing right now because he's out on it, um, he uses this pole when he's single-handing so that he can kind of maneuver the boat. And uh, It was laying around on the dock and I felt it needed a home, so I made these little hooks out of starboard. The same thing that this little tiny fillet station is made out of. This board here and the sides Again, you can see how uh, well you can manipulate that, just like you would wood, wood, wood. There's another hook right here that he holds the cord up that he charges his boat with. Pretty neat stuff. Must be the weekend. It's definitely hot outside. Let's see what other projects that I've made out of starboard inside. As soon as you walk in my place, you see this shelving unit. Again, the, the shelves are made out of starboard pieces I had laying around. They're unfinished, but uh, they are certainly serving a purpose. Over here you can see another shelving unit that I have made, and this one has been routered. It's really hard to see that, but there you go. Yep. Like I said, it's a wonderful material that can be manipulated, and you're really only limited by your imagination. Here you see another place where I've added starboard as a decorative piece around the ice maker. Ooh, there's some Bud Light in there. And this door here is that actually came with the hopper, so I didn't add that. That's not my stuff. This is, though. This shelf here isn't even glued in. I just cut it to hide the insulation and the wooden cladding that goes over the outside of the ice machine. The battery shelving unit also is clad in starboard material. Obviously, I have a lot of this stuff laying around. And if you do, it makes a wonderful material. Or if you're building an outdoor kitchen or something, it might be a good idea to make stuff out of starboard. Now, you guys know that I'm not just a kayaker, but I'm also a fisherman. And if you remember Steve, who made the lures for me out of plastic bags, well, recently I gave him some of the spare pieces of starboard I had laying around. Check out what he made. You can do whatever you want to do with them to... Steve has already caught fish with these two lures and was kind enough to bestow three more lures that he made out of starboard to me. I love that guy. I mean, he, that's a person who takes what he has and makes all kinds of crazy cool things. You can find starboard again in white, half inch. I think this stuff comes up to inch and a half thick. So you're talking, you can get a four by eight sheet of this stuff that's massive. I mean, I think it weighs like 270 pounds if you get that. It also comes in different colors, not just black and white, but also in variations. Like you can see this one has blue in the center, white on the tops, and you can actually engrave in this and the blue will show through. I mean, you should have seen some of the things that I saw recently at a visit to King Starboard. As chance would have it, King Plastics Corporation is only about an hour's drive south of my location. I got a factory tour from the plant manager, and he sent me home with a brandy new piece of shiny starboard. I really want to say thank you to the guy for providing me a brand new cutting surface for my fillet station. After all, this thing was kind of old uh, when I first got my hands on it. So to have something that's going to be brand new, stark white and beautiful is going to be wonderful. And I also think it's super cool that they're watching my videos. They clearly enjoy all the things that I'm creating and uh, they, they like watching me tinker with their stuff and their products. So uh, King Starboard, again, thank you. And to everybody that asked what is that wonderful composite material that I'm using in so many of my videos, now you know. 
and uh, I appreciate you coming along and watching another one of my videos.